All right, guys, and welcome back to the show. Welcome back to my channel again. I don't know why I said that, but uh, anyways, uh, we have another Pokemon Go Safari Sonosa event announced for April eighteenth and, and the twenty second. So I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna let you guys hear this. So t trainers, nice you guys announced it yet another Safari Zone. This time, finding its home in Sonosa, I don't know how you pronounce it still, I'm just gonna say it like that. An island off Singapore known for being a beautiful resort with plenty of fun, activities to do. Safari Zone, it is a five day long event taking place in Singapore from April 18th to April 22nd, 2019. And they did say on Twitter, everywhere on Twitter, is confirmed to have uh, that shiny shuckle will be confirmed for this event. So, the Pokemon that are featured is the original Tropias, the unknown, uh, uh, usual unknown, Lopper's shiny shuckle, Dratini, and a lone executor. So, it will be, yeah, getting shiny Dratini on the event too, because that's already been out. And it shows here the what is on here, and then restoration is required. So, and I'm glad to say that Shiny Shuckle is coming to the game. Thank God. But sites say that Shiny Shuckle will be the new Shiny to come about, which makes sense when you consider the and Executor just fits with the tropical theme, and Lapras is a commonly boosted rare respawn. And it, the tickets are not available yet. I think this is stupid. Uh, limiting you with the ticket for one day. Unless it's a different story. Then they change it. But it says here are limited to one day. Which is just retarded. Like nine tick. You're doing another stupid fucking event. With one limited one day. Come on. That's stupid. But, and for one trainer, although up to three people can register as a group, are required to see the event spawns, in this case, regionals like Trapeas and Pokestops. Keep in mind, trainers, that this is a selection-based event, so you may or may not get a ticket even if you register in time. You will get an email confirmation if you do on the 11th of March. So, be on the lookout. So, you have to register between the 5th, in the seventh, so basically, like, uh, maybe you register on the fifth of March or sixth day of March or seventh. It doesn't matter on those three days. You gotta be on them three days, or you will not get the QR code. So it says you have to. Those that are accepted will get an email. Blah blah blah. If you ever read that? Print the QR code. Then you go spin your e Pokestops, and it should do it. And then you are done, you'll be able to search for, uh, shiny Pokemon and the ones that were. <sighs> Sorry about that, guy. Oh. I mean, you're yawning about like, in the video. But anyway, uh, so, as well as this, make sure to use any of the preferred modes of transport. And it says if you did not receive a ticket to Pokemon Go Safari Zone event, Sinosa, don't worry too much. As well as while you may miss out on some spawns and exclusive Pokestops of the event, the overall area will see a change in spawns and will be a good event even for those outside the location. Which means uh, if you are not able to go to it, it'll there the the Pokemon will still spawn on them five days. And within five days being uh, come about, we uh, will be seeing the Pokemon that was featured in this event. And uh, there are certain areas you can go get. I'll have to show you guys later when it gets to that time. But anyway, the additionally worldwide spawn simply have added a added an, in a shiny possible Pokemon such as the Psyduck, Wingo, Rosella. Plusle and mining. So for those in other parts of the world, keep an eye out. And that is yeah. Oh, and plus, Diagla is coming today, 
as of it, it was announced for the next raid counter. And I almost forgot about this, so I'll let that picture load. Diagla is a five tier legendary raid boss in Pokemon Go. 53,394 combat power. The best Diagla Tower of counters are fighting types like Machamp, Hariyama, Breloom, and strong ground types like Groudon, Rhyperior, and Mimoswine. Diagla is a weak is weak to fighting in ground moves. Diagla can have the following CP values when caught in the post raid catcher encounter. Now, your hundred percent IVs without weather boost and with weather boost are twenty three oh seven and twenty eight eighty four. Those are the two hundred percent IVs you can get on a Dialga when it comes out today. Now Dialga could be du duo by Level 40 teams of good fighting types like the Champ, Breloom, and Hariyama. With cloudy weather and best friend boost, trainers seeking a challenge that is an interest, interesting one for you. Beyond that, riskly, re realistically, 3 to 6 high level players can tackle a Diagla, and 7 to 20 lower players can, ha can easily handle one. So, which is good. So. The counters that you will have to be used on this Pokemon, the following Pokemon that are considered to be best dialogue counters in Pokemon Go, the methodology is up to the discretion of the art, their type of blah, 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 yeah, whatever. Okay, so you want to use uh, Machamp. Now, it says that it is a fact for life, Pokemon Go, if something is weak to fighting my champ, will near its head and go out swinging, boosting, boasting the highest neutral weather time to win over any other available counter to Diagla. Save Breloom against non-steel movesets. So, your movesets that you will need to put on your Machamp is counter... And dynamic punch. If you do not have that, start using your TMs to get that. Just to get it. That way you'll be able to use your Machamp in battling this Diagla. Now, I have a good high chance for Machamp being the best counter. So this is a supreme counter, which which is good. I will use it. I will use him. But I've got a lot of Machamps I could put in my deal and get the same moves for them. So, anyway, then go on to the next one. Next one is Breloom. You have to have the same moves. Just like the top one, this one is a steal as well. So, its steel moves are the good ones. The good about this, this Pokemon is Breloom. Uh,. Now, I know you guys may think that Steel type is not good on a Diagua or good on these Pokemon or whatever. I highly think that Steel type is really good on the these counters. I'm not saying to not use these. If you guys want to, then go ahead. But anyway, it'll give you more wind, uh, the more faster win when you use Machamp or Breloom, so... And it will not, it will, even if Machamp has the cost of more faints, it, uh, give you a lot of faster time to win. So, oh my god. Why did I do that again? I actually pressed on it. I hate doing that. Come on. Let me, yeah, yeah another thing is research breakthrough encounters are now Reiki, Anti Suicune, Lugia. Ho ho, Regirot, Regirot, or Steel. So, it's for March all the way to May. Damn. That's pretty cool. Now, this is what I was talking about a minute ago. Okay, see on the bottom, I want you to show you this picture so it'll be easier. So, your other counter will be Groudon. Now, Groudon has to have Mudshot and Earthquake. I do have a shiny Groudon. To use that with, and I will be using that. 
and just to use it so that we can get it caught and get try to get the 100% IV. Now, Hariyama is a counter dynamic punch. Two of the same moves like Machamp and uh, Breland. They're all they it's but better. Hariyama is better. It's a little better, which is good. I mean, I'm not trying to judge the things about them, but uh, so the next one is Lucario with Catter in close combat, which is pretty good as well. And I think that Lucario will work with Diagola, which which makes it a lot better for us to battle it down so they have to use a random Pokemon to put in your deal. Now, I will save this for uh, Diago Raids, so I will put that in my thing, in my um, raid list, so that I can battle it when it comes out today. Now, last but not least, Blaziken. Oh my god, I, now I do love Blaziken. Blaziken has a really, really high chance to beat Diagola. With the fire moves, this is pretty cool. And I think that Blaziken with his counter focus blast is going to do a lot of damage. I don't know really if it's going to do a lot of damage, but this is going to look great for us in the uh, next future, I believe. And so I think that's going to look good to me. For right now, but I think that these Pokemon are gonna look going good for it. So can't wait for this to come out. And yeah, let's go to the uh, Go Hub. So let me go to uh, to the like this real quick. So I'll show you guys the site real fast. I'm gonna go way down here. Okay, go to, yeah, right there. All right. So that way you guys can see it on here, too. So instead of looking inside of the picture, yeah, it's not wanting to work. Okay, and it'd be a little bitch. Oh, yeah, Smeargoy is now in the game, too. I'll show you guys that here in a little bit. So give me a second. And it's not wanting to go back. What the fuck? Hold on, guys. Alright, guys, I got it. My bad. I fixed it. What was going on? So, showing here that on the rate counters. You can re I don't know if you're if you're able to reuse Diala. But that is a, uh, that one is in there just, just to see if anybody would need to use it. Which, to show which you, if you want to use it for it, then, yeah. But anyway, um, so, uh, oh yeah, but I forgot about, you either use Heracross for with counter and close combat. Toxic Crow, Counter Dynamic Punch. Name it Punch, I mean. The good counters are Rhyperior, Gallade. Gallade would have to have Low Kick and Close Combat. And I already talked about Blaziken. So, and Rhyperior would need Mud Slap and Earthquake, which I have a perfect. So I could put, uh, I think I already have both of the moves. So, you either use Polarath, Rock Smash, Diamond Punch, Memo Swine, Mud Slap, and Bull Bulldozer, the ones on that. I got Power Mine up, but I gotta get more starters. I got scammed yesterday, so yeah, I'll tell you guys about it later. So, then you use Dawn Fan, Counter Earthquake, Mud Slap, Mewtwo, Psychic Cut, Focus Blast, Right On, Mud Slap, Earthquake. On, on a ride on 
which I'm probably using a, using a ride on. So I will say these though, just to put them in my deal in case I have some that are down. So you want to be on the lookout for the fast moves, Dragon Breath, and either Draco Meteor. Now I think Draco Meteor or Iron Head, one of the two, will give the hundred percent IV moves. Now I don't know which one's gonna turn it to that, but uh, yeah. So, um, the weather effects it will not affect partly cloudy. It'll if you get sunny, windy, snow, cloudy, or rainy, it will boost its deal. His moves and it will boost him to getting it. So you have a high chance of may or may not get to hundred percent IV. So this is all what it shows the use. So now now Swamper is uh, featured, okay, so Mudshot and Earthquake for him. Requaza Dragon Tail Outrage Infernape Rock Smash Carlos Combat Good lord, they got a lot of ones that can be, uh, I'm gonna take a picture of these so I can put them in my, my bag. So. Okay. Give me a second, guys. Okay, wait, where did you go? All right, I got them to save them for later. So I'm going to go to my bag in a little bit and do that. So yesterday, you guys, uh, while talking about uh, getting scammed, now I was going to get a shiny uh, Latias trade that I don't have yet. And today is the last day for it. Uh, I was going to get that. And it turns out that um, somebody, that him... He didn't want to trade, and he didn't say he didn't have to throw enough Stardust, and I wasted all my Stardust, wasted my shiny evolution of Beldum. I evolved it all the way to the to Metagross, and I powered it up, and now I'm having to collect. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know why I keep going. Uh, cause I just, may have probably just woke up anyway, so, um, yeah, uh, so it'll show these here are good for battling anyway, but I was just talking about, uh, getting scammed, uh, I got my Stardust, I used it up too quick, so next time I have to watch that, so, uh, those are the ones that you be, should be using for the counters so yeah anyways guys i'll see you guys later thank you guys for watching and i hope you guys enjoy the video don't like subscribe comment below and uh, share this video and i'll see you guys later peace if i have any more any more information about anything i'll let you guys know peace